3,000 people. Hey there, so we're going to go and chat with people in Preston about Jesus and I'm going to try to not fall down the stairs. We've got a good team of guys out today. So we've been having a lot of fun chatting with people who are Sikhs in Preston City Centre. That's been great. Finding out what they know about Jesus. Yeah. So that was a fascinating day today. Uh, we went out after church, uh, we went around to somebody's house, had some lunch, and then went and uh, chatted with people about Jesus, just wandered around and talked to people. People were really friendly, had a great chat with a guy, I think it was called, he was called Robert from Slovakia, who, I don't, I don't know what he'd done. Oh, he'd hurt himself at work, uh, but it, it was really interesting. He, he, uh, uh, he he basically had grown up with with the impression that he was a Christian. I think he was fairly convinced that he was. He was he was astonished when I asked him uh, what he actually knew about Jesus. Uh, but but it was it was fairly clear, to be honest, that the the for him having grown up in Slovakia and having been taken to church and having done catechism when he was a child meant that he thought he was was a Christian. Uh, so that that was that was really interesting, uh, and then we chatted with some some uh, Sikh guys, which was great fun. We had lots of fun there. They were having like a some kind of festival thing, uh, finding out about what they believe, and then also chatting about Jesus. And uh, to to be honest, one of the one of the things that that strikes me the most is uh, is about how actually a worldview that is the, the lens through which you see the world needs to deal not just with religious matters but with every single facet of life and so if you've got a belief system uh, that doesn't actually deal with uh, reality and doesn't actually deal with uh, all issues of justice uh, and right and wrong and answer transcendental questions as well as immediate uh, realities then uh, you haven't got a work workable worldview uh, but it was delightful chatting with those guys and it was great to be able to uh, let them know a, bit, a little bit about Jesus now over and over again whenever we go out on the streets it, it strikes me just how little people actually know about who Christ is everybody thinks they thinks they know about Jesus but then actually ultimately they, they know very little and I'll tell you who are the worst for presuming that no people know about Jesus is Christians Christians so often think that other people know about who Jesus is and they really don't. They have no idea about the good news of, of Christ, about what he's done on the cross, about his resurrection, about how he, he calls all people to repent and that everybody who comes to God through him is saved. Uh, they, they just, you know, they just presume that everybody knows, everybody knows that stuff, surely. Well, actually they don't, they don't. And so it's been our great privilege to be able to go out there and chat to people uh, and hear their own thoughts, but also uh, to uh, to present the amazingly good news about who Jesus is as well. So hey, hey if there's anybody who actually wants to come and join us, come and be with us, uh, there's like training that we do and and we go out fairly regularly. So do please get in get in contact with me. Okay, cheers guys. See you later. Bye.